All the way in. Don't let go of it. You get her in there? Good. Yeah. Easiest, like I said, is down here, remember? Back a little bit. Good. Now, hold the full head. You stick her in there. You want to slide that out a little bit first? Yeah. These will stick in a lot better than the other ones. Don't they? All right, that is one small tree loaded. We'll get some, uh, 
a two by four and some one inch out of there. Ah, maybe a two by six or maybe two or three two by six out of there. But it was in the way every time I come around the corner. It was right in the way and it did. So I will leave that stump there so I know where it is and eventually I'll cut that stump lower. I won't do it today. I'll pack the snow around there someday and I'll do it. But we want to see how this thing's going to work. I haven't pulled any heavy loads with this yet. But we're going to see what we can do about loading it up. There's a few down in there already that's already cut up. I mean, it should give us a half a load maybe. I don't want to carry any more than a half a load today until we see what it's going to be like. So we have to pull ahead a little wee bit. And then we're going to dig the ones out that we left in the snow. Those new pulp hooks are so nice. They, they nice. stick in good, don't they? They do. I stay back because like I say, I know <laughs> if they slip, yeah. if they go into my leg, they're not coming out so easy. <laughs> But you're getting a lot better with it though. Like you are, I, I've been doing this probably since I was about 12 years old with the pulp hooks. Yeah. You've only started about five years ago, right? Yeah, and my uh, like uh, my coordination isn't exactly always the greatest either. That's why I have to be careful when I'm walking through things because I trip really easily. Like I'm, I'm just yeah. a clumsy person. Well, <laughs> hey, you know what? It's it's hard to move in here with this snow because you step somewhere you think it's gonna be packed and it's not and then you go yeah, down. Yeah, and then you're <laughs> Yeah. And uh, if your eyes aren't so great, you know, that can happen too. Anyway, we're gonna pull ahead. We, uh, I'm liking that hitch plate so far, but I mean, I've pulled it in empty, so I do eventually wanna straighten this out. There's a few things I wanna do with this. I have one pair of ski skins, the plastic ones I wanna put on the front, and then I'm going to find another set and put on the back so they, so it slides a lot easier. But that will be for future. And then I wanna build, um maybe a steel uh a post uh, two maybe two runners on either side that i can bolt on just so when i'm going in that sleigh don't catch up to me all the time i might do that maybe tomorrow or the next day and we'll see it's supposed to be warm so that's why we wanted to get in here and we want to get some out so tomorrow we'll clean out that mill and maybe we'll start milling this stuff yeah. because if we can get some two by fours or some you know, at two by fours, we need to anchor the bottoms up. Mm -hmm. And maybe the other ones, we can mill some two by six, and that's what we can use for plating the side maybe, right? Yeah. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyways, we're gonna get going and we're gonna see what the others are like to load.
Well, uh, you're gonna get first-hand look to see how we make it through here. I just went up and I cut a little birch out of the way, so I'm hoping I can get through here. So, we're gonna see. I mean, I packed this trail down a little bit yesterday, but it's not, it's not great. How many trees did I catch? One? One. Yeah, I thought so. I could feel it. <laughs> <laughs> but still kept going. But now I made a detour through here. I'm hoping if I can get through there, we should be home free. Okay. We'll see. I just got to polish up those skis and I think we'll be fine. Yeah. First load though this year of that thing, or with that. <laughs>
comfortable. Very. I think the skis are starting to polish up good now. I find it like nothing to pull now. At the start there, it was tough. But those tracks, yeah, I don't like them as much as the other ones. The other ones had like a, like an inch, uh, three quarter of an inch uh, lug. These ones here are like barely anything. Made a big difference turning them backwards though or else I would have been stuck. So I'm gonna whistle down here and up the other side. I'm not gonna go too, too fast, but you'll see, it'll, it'll pull it good. I'm gonna pull it up and then we'll get it right beside the mill. We gotta move that stove first. Maybe we'll shovel out around there, maybe do some milling today. What do you think? Sounds good. We'll see how that goes. You'll see, it'll come up here like nothing. I'm pretty sure. And if it doesn't, all I gotta do is go to the top of the hill, stretch out the winch, and pull it up, and then hook onto it again. So, no big deal. Not like it used to be. It's a lot better. <laughs> Start up the snowblower there and we're gonna clean her in around that mill real quick. How does that sound? Okay. You know, it's at least in the yard, so that's gonna be easy to take care of. Like I say, it's maybe not quite a, a half load, but still, once I get those skis polished up, like say, actually once I get those ski skins, I have a pair on that one snowmobile there. I just have another find another pair for the back. It's gonna slide along nice, but I come up that hill like nothing. I wasn't even giving them much throttle. I was at high range. If I had a went low range, it would have been a lot better. You can still see the grass and stuff. Still stuck to those skis. I, I didn't even attempt to clean them, and I probably should have. You know, but you know, this is the butt. This is the big ends. So we're, and and it's, we load it so it's just right. So we just pull up into the mill, and the tops, the small ends, face the right way to mill. So I'm gonna clean around there, and then if we get time, we'll mill these today. Unfortunately, we ran out of time this evening. We did clear all in here again. We started clearing the mill. I just We just have to clear a little bit more over here tomorrow, just from the shovel up to here. And then a little bit of this and clean in around here real quick. We'll be able to mill, but um, what I'll do to get out of here is I will just unhook the bobsleighs. I'll just pull them backwards. Once, once the... Uh, logs are off there it it slides easy as you can see it's already sliding that snowmobile sat down there after i brought after we brought the logs out that snowmobile sat down there for a few hours while we we're shoveling in here so those skis seems to be uh cleaning off a lot better than i could ever hope so anyways tomorrow we're gonna get at this we're gonna do some milling we're gonna finish shoveling this out right away in the morning we won't bore you with that, but we are going to mill these up, and then if we get a chance, we're going to head in to get the other logs in there, and then we'll just uh, we'll just keep milling. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this. You know, we're going to now that we're now that they got everything all set up, and we have the time, we're going to get back at it. And it was, it was that was enjoyable. We got that small load. I had no problem at all pulling it with the Alpine. So that shows me I can round that right up with some decent logs. 
Now those are only, what do we call them, eight foot four inches? Yeah. The last two smaller ones or three ones? What's that? Eight ones. Eight foot one inch because they're just fire with the shorter ones. Yeah. Three of them, right? I think we got like that? Yeah, I think it was three, yeah. Yeah, three small ones. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight foot four inch. So we can mill those tomorrow. I'll sharpen the blade right away in the morning. Yeah. While I'm waiting for it to warm enough, warm up enough to, to shovel this out. But we have the mill area pretty good now. It's cleaned up really nice. Uh, the slabs, well, we're gonna just toss them down over here probably for now. I think that's probably what we'll do, right? And then this here, hopefully, next time it warms up, we'll shovel this out. Anyway, that's, that's about it for now. Uh, hey, I sure hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you did enjoy it, just give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> you folks take care and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye all.